How to make sushi. You may think sushi is just raw fish, but you'd only be half right. It's actually the combination of fish and rice, and how it's combined is an art form in itself. You will need at least a quarter pound of trimmed, uncooked saltwater fish, such as wild king salmon, yellowtail, or bluefin tuna, a sharp knife, a cutting board, a dollop of prepared wasabi, a bowl of water, two cups of prepared sushi rice, a serving plate or board, soy sauce, a small dish, and some Japanese pickled ginger. Optional, some ice or a refrigerator. Step one, with a very sharp knife, slice the trimmed fish slab into individual portions, so each piece is a rectangle approximately two inches long and a quarter inch thick. To make things easier, cut all your fish at one time, but keep the pieces cold until you use them. Put them on a plate and keep it in the refrigerator or on top of some ice. Step two, moisten your hands with water from your bowl and scoop an ounce of sushi rice, about the amount that will fit into your palm, and roll it into a ball. Step three, shape the rice ball into an oblong by squeezing it with firm but gentle pressure. Your rice should be about the same size as your cut piece of fish. Step four, pick up a piece of sliced fish while palming the shaped rice, scoop up a tiny amount of wasabi with your index finger and gently dab it onto the middle of the fish. Step five, press the shaped rice against the fish and gently but firmly cup the two together until they adhere. Step six, firmly squeeze the sushi together until the fish and rice become one. Tap with your right index finger as you go to create a uniform shape. Step seven, Place the finished sushi on a serving plate or a sushi board and continue making pieces until all the fish is used. Step 8. Garnish the plate with a mound of Japanese pickled ginger and a smaller mound of wasabi. Pour some soy sauce into a small dish and get ready to dunk. Did you know? Real wasabi is notoriously expensive, so most sushi restaurants just use a mixture of horseradish, mustard powders, and food coloring. Thank you.